In this video, let's do something easy and maybe a little silly, and I'll let you decide on whether it's worth the effort or not. Let's create a label for this wall that will automatically label both my top and my bottom. So a quick tour, we've got a surface here, and as you can see, we've got a wall like this, and I want to label it just like we said. I want to add one label, and I have my top wall and my bottom wall elevations. Let's do that by going to annotate and add labels, and we're going to come over here and create a new style. We're going to do this in two different ways. Let's call this wall surface. And with it named, let's go over to our layout. I'm going to delete these texts out of it. And what we're going to want to do is add a couple of things. First, let's add a regular text. Let's come in here and change its contents. And what this is going to do is going to label the elevation of where I click. Okay. The label of the note point. Okay. Let's add that. Let's come over here and let's add a reference text to our second one. And this time, let's choose surface. And a reference text, let's move it down so we can see it. And now let's add the surface elevation. Change my decimal places and add it. So when you're creating it this in this method, you need to be sure that you understand whether I'm going to click the top of the wall or the bottom of the wall first. We're going to do the top of the wall is where we click the first time. So our first instance where we click is that point elevation. So let's go back to here and let's add us a little text to help us understand what we've done. And do the same for the bottom. And OK. And OK. This is going to show question marks because it's a reference text. Now we've got that. Let's hit Add. And what it's going to do, remember, we want to click the top of our wall. So it's going to be the elevation of the object at which I snap to. And notice it's now asking me to choose the surface. I'll choose my surface. And we're going to get two different elevations. Now I snap to zero elevation. So let's delete this. This is where it gets tricky because if you want to do it in this method, you've got to have three dimensional objects to snap to. Since I don't have that in this drawing, I'm going to come over here to where it's drawn just for the purpose of this demo. And I'm going to Control Shift C, copy it, and paste it in here. Control Shift V. Zero comma zero. I'm going to take that block and explode it. And now I've got me a polyline that's at an elevation. Let's try that again. Let's add. Try to snap to the polyline. Use the surface. You can see I have two different elevations. Now they're going to be generally the same. So the trick with this is let's scale this down is that it's going to set the elevation of your insertion point so what you would want to do is you would actually take that and move it to the bottom of the wall notice that the top didn't change but the bottom did and now i can drag state this and do it like that so that's one way to do it a little bit cumbersome in my opinion it's snapping and moving but you get it in there automatically. Now let's look at doing it a different way and we'll come over to the other corner. But before I do this method, I'm going to ensure that I have a layer that is set to not print. So let's make a new layer. And I'm just going to call it no print for the purposes of this video. And I'm going to turn its printing off and make it my active layer.
a little bit extra work here in this one. We're going to want to create Kogo points in our drawing. So let's go over here to points and create points. We're going to create random points from a surface and put one at the top of the wall, one at the bottom of the wall. And there those are. Pick their properties. Make this go away. They're on the no print layer. Both of them. All right, now that we have these, let's make us another style. This time, we're going to use these Kogos. So let's go to add labels under notes. Let's create us a new. It'll be very similar. Let's call this wall Kogo. Let's go to our layout. I want to delete that text. This time, we're going to add two reference text to Kogo points. And let's call this top. And let's add our other one. And bottom. I'm going to go back to my top and let's edit our style to show the point elevation. Pretty straightforward, right? And since we've already done it once, we'll just go ahead. Okay. Do the same thing for our bottom. And move this one down by negative four two. Okay. And okay. And now it wants you to choose where to label it. So I'm going to say here. Which two Togo points? This one and this one. And now it's hooked to those two Kogos. So I could place this, move it around, and it doesn't really matter. Oops. So that's two ways of doing it pretty quick and easy. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments and please feel free to like and subscribe.